Good morning ladies and gentlemen, my name is Radi and I'm a filmmaker and here on this channel I share with you the lessons I've learned while making my short films. Now today I want to talk to you about the latest short film that we made, Caridas Breaking a Coven, and how I probably did something stupid if it wasn't for some really really smart people around me to advise me otherwise. It started raining, we started pushing a little too further into a, a dark territory, basically it was very dark to cover everything we've already shot. So we've constructed a little plan of what we're gonna do, we're gonna pick up everything on Sunday uh, when we're gonna do the last bits of the pickups that we need to do from the scene that we've just shot and the final ending of the piece. So here is what I changed. We have a character stepping around the corner, the camera swings around to reveal the other character at the far end of the street. Now that was a very complicated shot that required a lot of focus points, a lot of rehearsal, uh, time that we didn't have on set. So I had to change it. What I did was a very simple static shot and the character runs in front. Not as sexy, not as juicy, but we make sure that we have the emotional beat. This is a little tip that you can keep in mind. Picking up objects from tables or close-ups of like cigarettes burning in ashtrays could be picked up on another day when the actors are not present, just to make sure that you get all the emotional performance bits in the can. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the film, uh, that's about the time. There was another shot that I really, really wanted to get, which was a review shot right after Cassia's death. Camera was low down on the ground tracking while Maya's boots were walking and the camera revealed Cassia's mask half burned onto the ground and flames all around as pieces of her cloak are falling down the ground. Great, isn't it? Cinematic, amazing, lovely. That was a shot that wasn't adding anything to the story, but it was adding to the cinematic value of the piece. Now, unfortunately, that was a shot that I had to drop. At the end of all this, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want my point to be that cinematography needs to be sacrificed for the sake of creation of the film. No, that is not the point at all. My point is, whatever changes that you have to do is, Keep the story in mind. This is the only thing that matters. It doesn't matter how many sexy lights you have, it doesn't matter how many juicy close-ups and tracking shots revealing casts of 17, it doesn't matter. What matters is the story that you're telling. It matters the characters, it matters the emotion. That's the only thing that matters. And another thing that is very important, especially if you're a director, ladies and gentlemen, is listen to the people around you. Because a lot of times when you're, when you're directing something, you have a lot of things to think about when you're on set. And by allowing other people to share their points of view over the problems, that's when you come up with creative solutions. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram, ladies and gentlemen. On my Instagram, you're gonna have the ability uh, to check out my latest short film we're just finishing up called Deadly Scare. And it's a, a very strange, strange comedy horror. And I really, really like it. So I really hope that you like it as well. So with all that said, ladies and gentlemen, go make a short film, listen to the people that you have around you, and uh, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.